hi there. Um, this is my 2004 VY2 HSV Club Sport R8 manual in Sting Red. Um, this car is number 288, which uh, you see on the engine plate and also um, on the odometer. Um, this particular car has been, well, you can see, it's been very well cherished. Uh, I had the front all recently done paint corrected um, so that there wasn't a blemish anywhere, especially on the lower front valance and the bonnet headlights. So I kind of wanted it oh, show ready, I guess, for want of a better term. Um, I wanted this thing to really be about as good as you could get from a, a you know secondhand used vehicle but still look like something which is brand new i even had all the wheels professionally redone as well um i've even ordered all new badges so the hsv one is fine but the, the club sport ones that you see down here these tend to fade over time this vehicle has is no exception to the rule so i have all of those brand new um in the room i just haven't put them on yet um i was kind of intending to do it over christmas and new year but We've got a baby coming in two and a half weeks. So to give you an idea what date that is, uh, 22nd of January is when he is due, uh, our first child. And that is the only reason, and I do mean literally only reason why I'm out here doing this video right now. Um, we've just got to a point where an SUV will be better. Uh, this was never bought uh, with the intention of being a family vehicle, don't get me wrong, but uh, just with the cost of the replacement vehicle, I've decided to sell this and my 2016 Holden VXR uh, 2.8 V6 Turbo, which has only done 9,000 Ks in black, which is a awesome car different different thing you know hsv and vxr vxr is Vauxhall racing holding special vehicles of course being hsv so different vehicles both of australian engines funny enough but other than that different beasts so this thing um is an absolute gem so fifty three thousand three hundred eighty four genuine six-speed manual um i did upgrade the stereo to an alpine unit with uh, apple carplay and android uh, android auto is it or android carplay whatever it is it's in there it's brand new this the sticky label is still on it in fact being an r8 of course you've got those nice binnacle gauges the nicer leather seats back here are these seats you'd almost swear it's never been sat in in the back honest to goodness i'm sure it has but it is just that nice and it's just that tidy. Um, I am extremely, and I do mean extremely fastidious uh, with things. Um, I will not buy crap. You don't have to these days. If you wait long enough, you'll find the right thing, which is what I did. Let's just open the bonnet so you can see in here, and then I'll open the boot and then we'll start it up. As you'd expect, there's your LS15.7 V8. It's just been serviced, actually, with Ebbett Holden HSV, which are now the home of HSV um, in New Zealand, and they're in Hamilton, White Cattle. So here you go. This is your, I'm trying to, sorry, get it where you can see it. And here's your other packet as well. This happened to be right in the sun which doesn't help I close this down so you can hear it just normally we don't all drive with the bonnet up do we um, but it's an absolute it's an absolute gem this thing so it's out of gear as you can see the little HSV key ring there that's a little check thing come on okay Aerial goes up and down without any of that bang 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 which they all <laughs> they all do sometimes after if they're not looked after. There he goes down again. Aircon is on at the minute, hence that auxiliary fan you can hear. 
this is a nice burble. Nobody in the car at the minute, so nobody's giving it a tap on the revs. I will put my foot on the accelerator now just so you can hear it. It has a reversing camera. I tried to make it as tasteful as possible. Um, again, when I got the stereo, which was about $1,500. $1,700 with the camera actually so it wasn't cheap but Alpine rarely is so if I go into reverse you'll see the camera it's very clear uh, again pretty fussy on stuff like that and I'm normally a bit of a Sony snob but Alpine is very very good these tend to break again they're both perfect um, let's give it a bit of a rev shall we so yep, sounds the way it should. Of course your HSV books. There's lots of stuff in there, but just to back up what I was saying here and stuff like that. Here you go. I'll put his name out of it for a second. So uh 21st of February 2004 and um that was in Tauranga, okay? So that gives you an idea. It's a nice car. Um, it goes well. It's been serviced. It's not due again for 62,000 Ks. It's done 53. Warner Fitness is just under a year. It has that thing with it, but I don't use it. It's constantly turned off. Previous owner obviously had it. But man oh man does this thing sound good. Um, it's not advertised on Trade Me yet, but I will have to do something soon. Uh, Seatbelt's not on. So I need to figure out a plan. There is nothing to spend. This thing is show ready. Oh, the boot. Sorry. I forgot the boot. I don't use it for a family car, like I said, but this was bought as an investment because they're going up in value like nobody's business. Um, extinguisher's never been used. The boot, has, again, it's hardly, if it hasn't, it's been used obviously, but it has been looked after. Your net is here, sitting in its position. There's your beautiful yellow 18-inch um, wheel. If you want to you have a flat tire but these things rubber on this is perfect um, these are two four five thirty five nineteens all four like I said completely refurbished and um, like brand new they're like a anthracite sort of light gray they're not your normal alloy it even has your HSV mud flaps which are something you do not see anymore very hard to find these um, but this thing is an absolute gem I know I've said that twice already, but I don't know any other words. Has its two keys. Um, like I said, it has more flair than the VZ, in my opinion. I know the VZ has the later engine. I get that. But I just love these. Um, they look such li like a race car for the road, which is what they were, I guess. But this just has... I love the spoiler. I love the bumpers on this model, the shape. And um, for me... You know, my favorite car of all time is the Lotus Carlton, which um, was derived from Vauxhall Opel given to Lotus, and they made a, you know, sports sedan, which upset a lot of people, including the media and the police, you know, back in the 90s. And, you know, these things, this reminds me of it so much, just because of the way it looks, because it's GM, um, the manual part, the big engine. I, I love this car, you know, I really do. My other one, and the wife's one is just here but and again it's a lovely car there it is over there i can't even see the bloody thing from here but you know it's not the hsv um so we're just going to keep the golf and this fella with 9000 k's on the clock he's going by base which again gorgeous car but it's not an appreciating <laughs> classic that everywhere you go turns heads i've had people with fords i've had people with mercs 
um, who've just said gas stations. Yeah, you'll visit the odd gas station. Um, who have just said, wow, that is that's stunning. And it really is. So if you're interested, get in contact. I'm on 021 246 0404. The first real person will see this and just want it in a heartbeat. Like I said, it comes with the new um, Club Sport badges for the sides. I haven't put them on. I probably won't. Probably give them to the new owner. Um, it's got three of those 285 ones and it's got two of those Club Sport ones in the packet. I remember I got them especially from Australia. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Happy New Year. Goodbye.